if you are looking for a completely passive way to invest in Airbnb rentals from out of state, I can help you, right? I can do that for you. Why do you want to do it out of state? Well, if you clicked on this show, I'm guessing it's because you're from New Jersey. And what do we got in New Jersey? We got super expensive real estate, crazy high taxes, right? So how about we go somewhere else, folks? How about we go where the numbers make sense? Let's not limit ourselves to Jersey just because that's where we live. Screw that. Live where you want. Invest where it makes sense, and I will help you put the whole thing together right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I help people from all over the world invest in real estate. Today, and we do all kinds. We do all kinds of stuff, folks. We do short-term rentals, long-term rentals, Section 8 flips, wholesale deals, seller financing. You name it, we do it. But today, today we're doing short-term rentals for a guy out of Jersey. My man, Andrew. You're from Brick, New Jersey, brother. And I'm going to help you do an Airbnb rental. I'm going to handle everything on the ground for you, right? I got the largest portfolio of its type, property management type company uh, in the market we're going to be targeting. We're going to be targeting a market that is much cheaper than Jersey, right? Jersey's expensive, okay? So we're going to find you markets where the numbers make sense, find you markets where you can pick properties up for a lot cheaper. Now, you had asked me some questions uh, about my company managing the Airbnb rentals for you and things of that nature. So let's go through a couple of those before we even get into the deal, right? Now, you had asked me how many Airbnbs we already have. Uh, Airbnb is a very small subset of our overall portfolio, right? We run the largest portfolio of its type, but I will be honest with you. It is a new business line for us here at Holton Wise. Where we've made our millions is in the low-income space, Section 8 rentals. Uh, we just recently launched the Airbnb division here, right? Uh, so that is a new business line. And what I did when uh, I was launching that a couple months ago, I sent uh, out this video. I did this video where I really went through for like 15, 20 minutes just explaining to everybody where we were at with the Airbnb process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to that under this video. I want you to check that out. Uh, either pause the video now, check it out, or after you watch this video. Another question, can you send us a copy of your uh, short-term management agreement? Absolutely. It's already available for you 24-7, dog. Just go to HoltonWise.com, click the FAQ. You will be able to download that at your leisure. Do you have a dedicated team that only manages the Airbnb properties? No, not necessarily. At Holton Wise, we have over 60 employees, and we have a property management division, uh, various people in the property management department. Whenever you do a transaction with Holton Wise, uh, from acquisition to management, to insurance, uh, to renovations, to selling the property again down the road. Uh, you're going to be touched and dealt with by various employees throughout the process. It's very much uh, like a conveyor belt type thing, right? We're kind of like Ford with the assembly line. More info on how our process works, starting from the buying process to the management to the renovations to like evictions, to selling it down the road. All that is kind of laid out chronologically uh, with video tutorials and stuff for you guys in the FAQ. So check that out, HoltonWise.com, our FAQ. Okay, another question. How long will it take your team to renovate and furnish the property? Uh, this is another one that's also going to be available in the fact. Check that out. Uh, in the fact, we go over the renovation process. I have a complete video tutorial for you, uh, which will explain to you how long the renovation process takes because every property is going to have a varying level of renovation needed as such. Uh, the process will vary, so uh, we have a video tutorial. Valerie from our PM department will go over that in full detail when you click that video in the fact. And then last question you have before we actually get into your deal, how often are you doing property inspections? That's a great question. How often do you want us to do them? Because that is how often we do them. We will do them as often 
or as few times as you want us to. Obviously, there's a charge for that, which again can be found in the FAC and our property management agreement. And if you want us to do a full on property inspection every week, we will. You want us to do it every day. Nobody's requested that before, but I suppose uh, we could do that. You want us to do it every six months? Not a problem. Every year? Not a problem. Totally up to you. We are an a la carte uh, company here at Holton Wise. So that should cover the majority of your questions, if not all of them, Andrew. If you have more questions, I know sometimes the answers to questions beget new questions. Just shoot me an email after you watch this video, and I'll hit those in your next uh, video I do for you. But without further ado, let's check out this property that I think will crush it. Based on all your goals, I think this will crush it. This is way cooler than anything I think you could buy for this type of money in Jersey. So let's jump into the details on the deal right now. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. We're going to jump into this beautiful Airbnb, man. This is one of the hottest neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, right? Cleveland, Ohio. That's what we're doing, folks. We're invested in the Cleveland, Ohio market because it's very, very cheap. If you Google where are the best cash flow markets, it's always at the top. You may be thinking like, yo, what? Who's taking vacations in Cleveland? Lots of motherfuckers. I don't know, man. That's what they're doing. But you got to be smart where you buy your properties. And this property is in a very smart neighborhood. Now, there's a whole bunch of neighborhoods in Cleveland. I've graded them all, okay? A to F scale, ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. It's in the notes below this video. It's also uh, available on the tools and resource section of HoltonWise.com. There's a whole lot of areas in Cleveland where if you go, who in the hell would take a vacation there? You're damn right. There's a lot of neighborhoods in Cleveland where ain't no motherfucker going to take a vacation. But this ain't one of them. There's some super hot markets. This, you may have heard of this. It's called Little Italy, folks. Google it if you haven't heard of it. The Feast of the Assumption, right? That's an annual feast. Google that thing. Woo, boy, you're going to get some food up in that belly at the Feast of the Assumption, man. Check that stuff out. This neighborhood is a draw, but the pricing Still super cheap compared to other markets. And you know what else is great about the Cleveland market? How about free money? What? Should open the show with that. Free money. There are certain neighborhoods in Cleveland we are seeing revitalization and gentrification. You want to know why? Because Cleveland is paying for it. This property comes with a tax abatement. Totally tax abated on the building until 2031. The only thing you're paying taxes on is the land, right? Because this is a newer build, okay? In certain areas, Cleveland wants to see gentrification happen, and they're paying for it, right? Via tax abatements, full tax abatements on new construction, okay? They're 10-year abatements. This was already built, though. It's a few years old, as you can see, 2015 build date. So uh, we are going to see... Uh, a tax abatement until, uh, I'm sorry, not 2030. That would be wrong. That's actually what they wrote in the, the notes. No, no, no. That should be a tax abatement till 2025. Till 2025 because they're 10-year abatements. This was built in 2015. 2025. Looks like the listing agent screwed that one up a little bit. 2025. My bad. I was uh, just kind of glancing at the notes there. 2025. It was built in 2015. Okay. And you're going to get that tax abatement, right? Check out this property. Uber nice, man. This is what you want, dude. You don't have to do a thing to this other than put some furniture in there, right? Big old windows, open concept. This thing is looking banging, and it is right in the heart of where people want to be, right downtown. You got Little Italy is an incredible draw. You got freaking the Guardians, the Casino, the Cavs, the Browns. You got the whole shebang, okay? And the property is looking mint. This is going to look great on photos, on sweet laundry. Little little deck action here. Look at that. Freaking downtown view, right? How sweet is that? Pretty cool, right? Imagine doing this. By the way, there's a ton of new construction right here, right? So I'm talking about these tax abatements. You are seeing all types of new construction. The Cleveland housing market is an area where we got normally like 100-year-old housing stocks. So you see these neighborhoods, folks, where the city is incentivizing developers to build new construction. 
what do you think is going to happen to the value of your property, right? You see this little fucking podunk property right here? See this little piece of shit, okay? When you take these fucking 100-year-old shithole houses and you tear them down and you build big old brand new houses like this or you tear down a whole strip of them and you build freaking half a million dollar to a million dollar townhomes, what do you think the value does to the property you bought, folks? Ding, ding, ding. It goes up, right? Get in on areas where you're going to see a ton of gentrification, right? That's where you want to be. And as far as the cash flow today, it's going to look pretty good, right? This property, all that goodness, including that tax abatement that you're going to come in on, they're asking 340 but I think that's a little too high. That's why it's still in the market. I believe the true price here is really 325 I think the value is at three and a quarter. And then just so you know, obviously, we're going to need to do 25 k worth of uh, furnishings, right? Because we got to furnish it if we're doing Airbnb. It's going to bring us up to a total investment of 350 As far as rent goes, being in such a high-demand area, I anticipate a $350 a night rental charge. Obviously, we're not going to collect 10850 in rent, though, because that would require us renting it 31 days a month. That ain't going to happen. You ain't renting this thing every single day. It's short-term rentals, folks. you got to factor in a historical vacancy, which we get in Cleveland. Uh, we're really going to be renting it about 60% of the time. That's the short-term rental business. So in reality, we should be pulling in after all the costs, after having my team manage everything, a little bit over $4,000 a month or a 50 k a year NOI, right? Now, as far as what the numbers really look like, you don't have to pay all 350 in cash. This is real estate, baby. Financing other people's money. We're going to use the bank's money. We're going to use the government's money with the abatement, right? All you're going to need is 106 grand, okay? 81,250 out of your pocket for the down payment, then another 25k for Holton Weiss to go in and furnish, set everything up, get your Netflix going, okay? 243,000 on a long-term loan should pencil out to what I'm thinking is going to be a 36% ROI. That's why people are coming to the Cleveland market for Airbnb properties working with my team getting them going. You don't necessarily think of Cleveland when you think of vacation markets, but when you actually dig deeper and you see stuff like this in the hot pocket neighborhoods, the neighborhoods where you're seeing the path to progress, you're seeing gentrification, it actually makes quite a bit of sense. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.